Yeah. This was back in around June. Okay. Um, that's when they released the master plan, the draft master mm -hmm. plan that has one line on the plan that says demolish Velodrome to expand the existing oval. Yeah, okay, yeah. right. Mm. And um, why are you so passionate about being involved in helping to save the Velodrome? Because I've got, I've been so passionate in cycling and I've never ridden a bike before. And four years ago, that's when I started riding um, a bike. Right, on the Velodrome here? Yeah. And the Velodrome yeah. and just ride recreationally along Beach Road and all that. Yeah. But, um, Springvale is not very close to Beach Road. Yeah. Um, takes about half an hour to get to. Yeah. So instead of doing that, I can come to a velodrome. Yeah. And it's a perfect way to get fit. Yeah, practice, yeah, safe environment. It's, it's also good for my mental health as well because yeah. I've had some issues with mental health problems. Yeah, okay. And fitness problems. So when I started riding, um, first started riding, I couldn't even get out of my street. 200 meters out of my street, I couldn't get out. Right. <laughs> and then, right, and to this day, um, I've seen myself um, just um, grow as yeah. a person because I'm able to stay fit now, mentally stronger. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So it means a lot to you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> now can you... you know that's the most I've ever seen you ride a bike? Why did you like riding around here so much? Because we're on a path. Yeah? And what does that mean? It's like going a different way, not straight. Yeah, okay. And there's no bushes, they've got a fence around it. Yeah, nice. Another, sco another scooter incident. <laughs> All right, so this morning we've got uh, the bikes loaded in the car and I'm taking t both my girls down to a, a local velodrome. You see Ruby, this one here, she, <laughs> she's a bit of a loose cannon. She's also, she's five, she's still learning to ride. She can ride, if we get her going, without training wheels, she can go. But Holly, where does Ruby need to improve her bike riding skills? She needs to improve when she goes around the corner because she rode into the bush up there two times. <laughs> the same bush. <laughs> <laughs> and then she get, needs to get started on her bike. Oh, Ruth, you all right? <laughs> what is going on here? What's wrong with this scooter? And she actually needs to improve her braking. That's really well timed there, Ruth. So when she does go into the bush, well, she's heading towards the bush, she could actually pause. <laughs> so this morning we're going to this great environment, a velodrome. So my girls, or well, particularly Ruby, can improve their bike riding <laughs> skills, but there's also a bit of a story going out at this velodrome, which I want to share with you all today. Here we go. One, two, three, she's a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take your bike? Wheel it around and I'll get your helmet. No, 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 not yet. Wait till we get your helmet on, okay? Mine's off in there. Daddy, I got it on. Stop. Wow. 
As soon as we get to the velodrome, of course, where do we need to go first, girls? <laughs> oh, enjoy. All right, can, so can we go look at the velodrome now? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to see what it looks like? Never seen one before. Come on. No, no, come on. What do you reckon? Good place to learn how to ride your bike better? What do you think about it? Well, it's round. Yeah. Exactly like a donut, like I said. Yeah. A giant donut. A giant donut. Do you want to get our bikes out and go for a ride? Can I do scooter? <laughs> no, we'll do bikes first and then scooter, okay? Can I go first on scooter. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just here with Kim Newman and Kim is um he's a consistent user of his velodrome and he gets to meet a whole bunch of people that come down and, and use a velodrome, members of the community. So Kim, who sort of uses this velodrome right here? Yeah, so this velodrome's used by a uh, diverse range of people from different abilities, different backgrounds. Because as you know, the city of Greater Danano is one of the most multicultural cities in um, Victoria and perhaps Australia. So we've got um, people from Sudanese background, from Burmese, immigrants, whole range of people. Um, Even to little kids like that? Little kids. <laughs> and we've had people come up to us, little teenagers come up to us saying, when they're bored, they ride at the velodrome. And yeah, right. Is, and this is in Noble Park. And Noble Park's not known for, it's been in the news for not um, good reasons. And here's a perfect opportunity to bind the community together through like a, a, a recreational activity that kids can do. So, so when they're bored, they don't turn to other behaviors and there's an outlet for them. So, and in order to boost that, what's the, what could they do here to, to get to get more people down here using the velodrome? So to, yeah, we want to restart the Noble Park Cycling Club. So the Noble Park Cycling Club uh, has existed since 1946, and it's only in the recent 10 years that the club has folded. Yeah, so there's a real opportunity down here to get more of the community involved. So. You're saying, Kim, you're doing a fundraising campaign, is that right? Yeah, we're doing a fundraising campaign to reform the old Noble Park Dandenong Cycling Club that has existed here since 1962. And so if anyone uh, has money to spare to donate to our cause to help restart the club and also save the velodrome, and we're looking to raise $2,000 to um, register the club and also help build the club. All right, so what do we got here? So these are the master plans for Parkfield Reserve that the city of Greater Dandenong have yep. um, engaged a consultant to draw up. Right. One of them... So, so this is the existing, the, yeah? This is the existing one with the velodrome in yep. and what the upgrades would look like. Okay. So it would mean there would be... Oh, so they're considering upgrades? The, for the other three rate paying, yep. yes, they're considering upgrades. The The argument for council is the amount of money that it would take to upgrade this velodrome and whether it would be warranted right, okay. for the local community. This one here has just come to light. Uh, one of them's just, no, this one's just come to light, sorry. Okay, yep. This was the original one where they want to take the velodrome out and instead put a walk, a shared walking path, which is the buzzword right now for a 2.5 metre path that would be shared with walking and cycling. Right. Um, and increasing the soccer fields. Yep. Unfortunately in this area, because we're, like most council areas, we're getting overdevelopment, yep. um, they're now finding that we haven't got the open space for future generations. Right. They're trying to foolproof by um, you know making up these master plans right now we've got uh, to me this is David and Goliath we've got three rate paying organizations on this site that are claiming they need extra space we've now got cyclists that are going if we lose Sandown race course because that looks like it's going to be developed and this is taken away. Where do people cycle? Because as you would know, there is a huge difference between recreational cycling and training mm. and speed cycling. Yeah. You can't have speed 
and training on a shared path. One minute, please, Ruth. One minute. Because then who who is liable? Yeah. You know, this is this is the thing. So in this area, um, from Kelvin Side Road up to the highway, Heatherton Road, yeah. this is about one of the largest open spaces that the council have. Right, okay. And every house that is sold is usually snapped up by a developer, mm. and then we end up with units and um, apartments. So, but for me, the historical, this is an historical um, icon for our area. Why is it historical? Murray Kirby was made an MBE, yep. and he set up the Pedal Club, um, which was known Victoria-wide. We don't give credit for our history, and the thing is, if we don't preserve our history, we really can't move forward. Mm. Um, you know, people are enjoying cycling possibly because of the pedal club all those years ago. You know, it, it got a bit of emphasis back then. Uh, he used to appear on the Happy Hammond show. Mm. Um, and and he, pro he probably just did it. He actually had a bike business in the local area, in, in Noble Park, in Lennon Avenue. Yeah. Um, and from that bike business... Uh, the pedal club grew because he would help people repair bikes and get bikes up and running. But right now, like this is a Sunday morning, right now, back in the day, there were 22 and 11, I don't know whether it was miles or kilometres, cycling that happened and they all ended up here. Murray would pack up the children and their bikes in furniture vans and right. they'd end up here. People weren't... Um, drawing straws and saying which, which sport is more popular. Yeah. You know, tennis, soccer, cricket, cycling. Yeah. They coexisted for all these years. I don't know what the difference is right now. Yeah, right. So, but, so this plane here still involves a cycle track, yeah? But it's obviously it, not it's a velodrome. It's a shared. We, ha we, have, shared. To, we okay. have to... Ah, okay, right. That's the difference. Yeah. This is going to be more like what you experience along East Link and what you experience like this kind of width run. versus well, is this 2.5 meters oh, okay but they're saying if it's 2.5 versus what's the velodrome um what do you think it is eight eight, eight meters yeah right so you can come in kim that's okay um so they're saying 2.5 will allow a bike going in opposite direction to one another yeah, and they okay. or two riding side by side yeah okay so you know but in the whole of the city of Greater Dandenong, originally we were under the city of Springvale. About 25 years ago, we became the city of Greater Dandenong. We only have 70 historical icons or markers left. So, what do you think Maori would want to happen to this velodrome right now, given the fact that it's a bit of a sliding door scenario? It is a sliding door. And actually, that question was posed to me by the councillor that's driving this master plan. Yes. I think that he would want cycling still to be encouraged. It's a, a clean, passive sport. Um, you know, you only need a bike to participate or in the case of your girls you know even a scooter yeah and the, our roads are not safe anymore could you imagine trying to do a cycle race for 22 or 11 miles or kilometers today yeah. with all the traffic that there is yeah. um yet they were able to do it so much easier back then and for, unfortunately the logistics of it too you've got to have uh You've got to be able to lease this and pay rates to the council and you need public liability. Back then, you know, people were so carefree. But I, I believe that Murray would want his dream continued and I believe that the way that we can honour him is to revitalise this parcel of land mm. and keep his memory going. All right, so we've just gotten home. Both the girls have run inside completely knackered. Ruby in particular, because that is by far the furthest I've ever seen her ride, which says to me that the velodrome is almost the perfect environment to teach young kids how to ride a bike. But before I unpack the car, just to summarize this video, a wise man once said to me, the activity of bike riding is a simple solution to some of the world's most complex problems. Inner city congestion. Here in Melbourne, we've got a booming population of over 5 million people mental health and of course physical health. I could understand the council wanting to create more sporting fields out that way if they were limited, if there were very few options for the local community, but by all accounts there's plenty. Whereas an environment for people to 
ride in a safe environment, learn the activity of bike riding, there are very limited options out that way. So that says to me that the council should make the right decision here, not only by maintaining the velodrome out in Noble Park, but by improving the environment and promoting it, getting more people out there riding in a safe environment, learning the activity of bike riding, and that will be better for you and for me. I'll catch you in the next video.